So I wanna come in. You know where to be seen. Yeah, Janet no na equal pa doctor. Habari? Nizori. Habari. Hey, umepotea, tumekupesa. <laughs> tumekupesa means we have like we miss you. Tumekupesa. We yeah. Um uh, I miss you guys too. Um I can only stay for 30 minutes. I have a patient in about 30 minutes, so I'll get as much as I can. Mm -hmm. also, uh, so even this session is usually not very long, so we, it's about uh, 40 minutes or so. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. Back in Tasema Sante. So today is not like an exatia lesson. On Tuesday, we just try to talk more than grammar yet. So, okay. yes. <laughs> yes, we are just here. Yeah, we are trying to talk. More than grammar, mm -hmm. Doctor Janet. Um, if, do I remember correctly that you're a you're a physician in Phoenix? Is that right? I'm a nurse practitioner. Uh, okay. in Goodyear. Hold on one second. I have to answer the phone. Okay, so. All right. Um, these. Mm hmm. Umepotea sana. Umekuwa ukienda mania wapi? Um, um, uh, ni, nili, um, ni, nili, uh, Aisha? Aisha? Um, uh, na, no, ni, nili, um, yeah. Um, nili taka? No. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I was staying in. Ili Isha, mm -hmm. uh, na Kenya, Ke Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, Lakini, um, Nina Rudi, um, uh, Wiki Uliopita, uh, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Ah, um, okay, okay, okay. And, okay. and, um, uh, sa uh, ngumi <laughs> mm -hmm. in Kenya. The time was difficult for me in Kenya. Yes. So it is. Uh, yes. So the question that I asked you, it's a very lengthy word. Uh, we can say andamana means like um, andamana means like protest, right? So I asked you, una andamania, andamania wapi? Okay, so where are you protesting at? So yes, unanda mania wapi. So you would say Nirudi. So you can say Nirudi, uh, Arizona. So Arizona. So then you can say Nafanya. Mandamano. So it's a good one. Mandamano. Ma ma andamano. Yangu. Uku. So it's a very funny word. So you can see so I'm doing I, my protest on my end. Yes, so I, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> I'm doing my protest, something about chicken? Yes. So you are doing your protest out here, so in Arizona. So you say, like I asked you, Unanda Mania Wapi. So now you can say, Nirudi Arizona, Wiki Yopita, Ninanda Nafanya Manda Mano, Yangu Uku. I'm doing my protest over here. Here, you know? oh, here. So yeah. It's, Yes, today we occupied actually the airport. So, fun fact. So, oh, that's right. Yeah, that's so, so. just go and um, we call them memes. In Swahili, we call them vitikini. Vitikini means like uh, something that makes you tickles you and makes you laugh. So, tikini in Swahili means like tickle, right? So, vitikini means like things that tickle you. So, we call them memes, right? So now I've posted a lot of memes and uh, we have a place in Kenya called Chicago. <laughs> Chicago, I know it sounds like Chicago, I know. So now, <laughs> so somebody, some people went to like, uh, of course they were not able to go to the airplanes because you know, a lot of security measures before you get to the airplanes. But Kenyans are always the deadliest and humorous as usual. 
So somebody posted like this and uh, he has already like, it's like they have already taken over the plane and they are like, wait a minute. Did you say Chicago or you said Chicago? Then the passenger is like, I said Chicago, no Chicago. You know, a small town elsewhere in the Mount Kenya region. So uh, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> so just go on whatsapp and look at my memes i know that uh, maybe you don't look at memes at all but just look at the memes then uh, also the other one is like um if unapenda sana like anime so there's this character called naruto i know i know where it's getting to so the president of course is called Duto, and uh Yes, yeah, so they are saying, like, I made this one. So saying, like, uh, getting to the airplane headed for Japan, only to find that you are escaping from Ruto. Then you find that in Japan, they also have Naruto. Then you're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yes. <laughs> yes, but. <laughs> yes, the most so Kenyan I thing you Mm -hmm. I didn't know that the protest, I didn't know that the Mandamano had gotten to the airport. Yeah, yeah. So we have uh, different waves of different uh, Mandamanos. So Tuesday different Thursdays. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and uh, different weeks and different things because uh, the last few weeks, I've actually saw that we did not protest and we were waiting for the government to do effective changes, but technically they are not listening to the protest or the cries of the people. Uh, when they do this, they dissolved like um, the Mamawazili. This is something to Yongia Kidogo last weekend on Saturday when we had like a pop up makeup session. So, when we protested, we said that um, in these positions, like um, ministries, like uh, the cabinet secretaries, we need the like, professionals, right? So, like, for example, we don't need politicians, people who don't know about stuff in whatever they are being given. But this guy, being in Jinga, the idiot he is, he did not technically listen to the people because, like, for example, if they say, like, the cabinet secretary in charge of health, we have poached or we have taken the person in charge of Kenyatta National Hospital, like the chairperson, he is a doctor. So that one would be make sense. Then we're like, ah, okay, that's perfect. Then we go to agriculture, it takes somebody in the field and they know shit about agriculture, right? So that is not a politician. He knows shit about shit, right? So which means like as Kenyans, we get to see the, you know, the government working for us. But now you went and uh, you wanted um, is, uh, you know, cronies uh, in the power and the politicians. So that's why we are still like pissed off. Yes, and we are still protesting. And also the airport. Somewhat it like has been uh, the reason why we said we we are going to the airport. The apparently the airport is being auctioned off to some external powers. So that's why. So we are still there's a lot of things messed up in with our country. Sorry for another day. That is a rant, but um Sarabi ni Maisha So I'm glad I came last week and I wasn't I didn't get caught in the protest. <laughs> trust me people might people might confuse you like um not saying but uh people might confuse you with the ambassador for the u.s and they are like what are you doing here before you start explaining you are the doctor working in Dordoret, and they're like no you look like the u.s ambassador although she was thrown <laughs> out on the first first phase of uh, the protest <laughs> but in <anyways>, i digress <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. But uh but it's a peaceful protest at the end of the day. Because like uh today we were very happy with the police because like um the inspector general of Nairobi County came out and uh, he protested technically protested with the people and uh, he walked with them as they were he, they were saying uh, their problems and they this uh, I don't know if it is sense, but um it's the step, right steps in the right direction and stuff. So, yeah, so there was no shooting today. Like they did crazy stuff, you know, out there. But anyway, yeah, so not here just today, no shooting, no nothing. So it was good today. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so Janet, Darwin.
and dead. <laughs> Darwin, today you're not driving. Yay! <laughs> yes, most of the time Darwin is driving. And I'm not sure when I'm a hardy. Ah, Naweza sema nimefurahi sana kusikia na kuwaona hapa pia eh hey, imekuwa ni wakati mzuri hapa Kenya so like ni kwa naelezea we are protesting but also uh, as much as we are depressed with our own problems Kenyans always try to find um, fun and humor out of everything you know regardless how difficult the situation is we are finding humor in that yeah but uh, we are still very serious, but uh, yeah, at the end of the day. So even the America that we have today has been shaped by this kind of stuff. And uh, still the fight continues in one, uh, one way or another. And um, our fight has started. So either way. So in order to get to wherever we, you know, America is, and um, I would say we also need this kind of stuff to happen. So that's why I would say like this. Yeah. So yeah. So... So niambieni mmekuaji maandamano ya kidogo kando. So how have you been? Tunaanza with Dr. Janet tumekupesa. We have missed you. So how have you been? Karibu wiki tatu almost a month without seeing you. Yes. Mhm. Nzuri. Ah, okay. Um ah na Nina Sema Nina Sema Kiswahili Kidogo Ah uh, Si Si Tok Si Toka Darase Kiswahili Ah uh, What can I think of because I don't have a teacher anymore. <laughs> Sina, <laughs> mm -hmm. you remember the word Sina? 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 Sina, Sina. Sina Mwarimu. Oh. Yes, yeah, Sina Mwarimu. Okay. All right. So, to turn up to Jed, Abariako. Menyamaza son, you're very quiet. Menyamaza son, you come on. Say hello to these people. Come and put Daktari yuko hapa. At, yes. Tuseme hata ni madaktari. Yes. Mhm. Waenda na maandamano. Waje ni wote. Bizi. Darwin. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm mm, Janet. Nandere Aje. You come on. Missouri. Now where was it? I'm even go fresh because uh, I'm not going to mind the man also. 
Ja, okay. Hapa <laughs> kuna mfalme so I you don't play around. Daktari, <laughs> unajua mfalme nani sio? You know who is a king, right? <laughs> mfalme yako ni wako don't forget wako mfalme wako ni joto no it's my king aha is he is he strict is it joto no, not Joto. So That's you can hot. say like um, Kali. You know Kali? Kali, Kali. That's what it was. Kali. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mkali. Asina, Asina, Mkali. Ujoi, Monarch. Monarch system. So, Aguna <laughs> Raisi. Ida wambie kuna waziri mkuu prime minister for the ex executive yeah. mm -hmm. wambie tu ni kama almost the system tuseme ni kama mfumo you, you know mfumo means like the system mfumo wa kama uingereza in the UK ni kama mfumo wa uingereza ama Canada ama Australia New kwa sababu wana wana mfalme so unapata mfalme anashikilia maswala ya nchi sawa if there is money for the country is a technically the president but also you find kama ikifika ni maswala ya kiserikali we have a prime minister ambaye anashikilia maswala ya kiserikali so then mfalme anashikilia maswala mengine so it's very interesting so yes sawa does it make sense? Yeah. Yes. So we have Waziri Mku. That is also a very good term. Yes, Waziri Mku, like Prime Minister. So, so in charge of executive. So Rakini see to some inchi ambazos namvarme amas natumia almost the same system. Tunaweza sema tuko na Eswatini hapa Afrika tuna Eswatini tuna Lesotho alafu pia Ethiopia in one or another wanatumia sim farme basi nitasema ila wana rais ba tunapata mamlaka ya rais ni kama ya mfalme ambaye yuko Eswatini alafu wako na waziri mkuu Hamed ambaye anajulikana ni kila mtu so ni kama pia uingereza vile tuna sunak na tuna mfalme charles swana so unapata suna katajulikana kwenye maswala kama ya tuseme kama ni maswala ya kiserikali utamuona suna kiupo kama ni maswala ya kwenda kuwakilisha inchi unapata charles anaenda kuwakilisha uingereza so almost same system so yes mm -hmm. So then also nimesema neno mfumo mfumo means like system so so acha niandike kwenye chat so system mfumo so mtaangalia hayo maneno kwenye chat sawa mfumo so So how would you say that the king is more of a figurehead? Figurehead. Is there such a term? Ah, uh, lakini lakini mfalme wa mfalme wa Eswatini ana mamlaka zaidi. Si kama mfalme wa Uingereza. Mfalme wa Eswatini ana mamlaka zaidi. Unapata yuko juu hata ya ule waziri mkuu. So literally somewhat he can dictate anaweza akasema vitu ambavyo vinahitajika kwenye serikali si figurehead vile kama 
Uingereza, Vietnamese, Sama is more of a figurehead. Amata, Ethiopia, President is a figurehead. Eswatini na Lesotho naona ikuwa tofauti kidogo kwa sababu mfalme akisema anasema <laughs> when he says so the prime minister is like yes boss yes sir <laughs> yes <laughs> no finger <laughs> my name is <Misha. laughs> yeah so different powers but uh there's what anyone has more power not like most of the other countries yes <laughs> yes so by the decree kama ile unasemanga kwenye ni when you hear a farm by the decree of the king <laughs> so when you hear that you are like yes sir yes boss mm-hmm. yes boss jed what is the hour you can explain to them yeah it always very interesting kwa sababu unapata kama mimi ila hata kama si maswala tu ya lugha peke yake no only am uh, am i concerned with our languages but also you find like politics like things like this they are always very interesting when you get to think about this kind of uh, things because unapata kama kwa mfano kama wenye wanasoma biblia uh, unapata kuna hata kikao like in the king's palace unapata kuna kikao kwa kwa mfano kama uh, tuseme mtu amefanya kitu cha ukumbafu excuse my language in swahili but if somebody does something very foolish something that um, even the courts themselves they are like eh, is like the most outrageous thing even we won't deal with it i think it's taken to like the kings kind of system which you find like there's a king's parties and a king's system ambao inashughulikia maswala kama hayo yes so it's a, so yeah <laughs> yes so you find that um it's always very interesting with our different um system mifumo tofauti ya uongozi na jinsi wa falme tofauti tofauti nchi mbalimbali wana tuseme mamla so like how they have powers kwa sababu kiangalia kama kwa mfano mfalme wa Brunei so like if you know Brunei in Asia has almost the same power as uh, Eswatini he dictates everything lakini ukiangalia mfalme kama wa Thailand ama mfalme wa Uingereza mfalme tuseme Ethiopia si mfalme but the president of like this hawana mamlaka sana so unapata mambo yao like serikali tayari wana waziri mkuu so they have the prime minister and uh, everything just goes on their side but unapata Brunei Eswatini Lesotho mfalme amesema so mamlaka yanakuwa juu kuliko hata waziri mkuu wa hiyo nchi so although it's like uh, unapata uongozi unapitishwa kutoka kwa kijana wa kwanza and kwa kijana wa pili so like tuseme baba anampa mwanawe kama ule kijana wa kwanza kijana wa kwanza familia baba akiaga anampa kijana wa kwanza kwenye familia ama huyo kijana wa kwanza kama ameaga wanampa kijana wa pili ambaye anafuatilia kwenye familia like the son of that kid so it's always very interesting kwa sababu sijui kama jada labda ataweza kukuelezea hii sijui wako kwenye sijui ni mswati king mswati the that mswati watatu siko sure i think uh, so jina la familia so sina uhakika so hilo ni kitu ambacho jeda naweza katuambia but inakuwa ni ni mfumo mzuri alafu pia hata ukienda kwenye kama mswati unapata tu mambo yako tu vizuri kila mtu tu yuko sawa kwa sababu hata mfalme ana mambo mengi Yes yeah, so unapata uongozi uko mzuri wananchi wanapata man, manufaa haya huo ufalme so everybody is getting the benefits even of being under the king and the everything so the king is always taking care of their persons so, yes hamna maandamano yes hamna maandamano <laughs> probably kenya tunahitaji mfalme nitakuwa mfalme wa kwanza wa kenya yay <laughs> <laughs> Manda mama
Mm-hmm. Unajua maana ya manufaa. This do you know the meaning of the benefits? I mean like uh, in Swahili. Then like uh, ukisema manufaa. Manufaa? No. Yes, manufa, benefits. Manufa. Yes, manufa, benefits. Like amna manufa, it means there is no benefits. Yes, so kwa mfano nikisema amna manufa kuwa rafiki yako. There is no benefits of being your friend. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so yeah, it's some good, good ones. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, no, we are not same as we are. No, 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 to me, Ujumbe, a lot of Ujumbe is being sent. So, Nimtu naona hapa na ameni amepata shida kidogo kuingia kwenye darasa. Ah, tumia tu. So uh, wa waganda wa, wa, wa maanza maandamano leo. Washaanza lakini watu naona wanaenda kuandamana walikuwa wanataka kwenda kwenye bunge lao ila unapata <laughs> Rais Museveni aliweka askari barabarani. Kwenye wametokea wananaswa wanaingishwa kwenye Rumande. Anamka anamka ni Museveni. Mhm. Ya, so Anko, tunamuita Anko, Anko Museveni ataki ujinga kwa wake. Yes, he does not want to take her, yes. Yeah, so. So, okay, I don't know how you call this. Do you use the word um, demand? Like in the police station. So I don't know how you call this one, like a prison cell in the police station. Making a demand? No, 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 no. In the chat. So like um in a, a prison, like a cell in the police cell. How do you call it like um in like um American English? I'm not sure, but in our English we call it demand. So in Swahili it translates to Rumande. So when we say you are, you are in demand, it means you are not exactly in the, because if we say Gereza, it's prison. So Gereza, it's the prison itself after you have been convicted. But if you are waiting for like uh, to go, yes, to go to like the Mahakamani, so in the court system. So mm -hmm. before like uh, once you're convicted, that is when you go to the prison itself, Gereza. So like, uh, like this, so Gereza, the prison itself. But if like uh, you are being kept in the, as you are, uh, cases still okay. continuing, it might continue even for one year. So we say you are ukorumande, so you're in demand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think know. years are what? different different between prison and jail. Jail is is I think before your uh, you go through, uh, but it's still a locked thing. The other thing yeah. is probation, but that's after you've finished your sentence. Yeah, okay. So which means like okay, there we go. So which means like I would say like um somebody is in demand or you're in jail like this, right? So like where you can bail out somebody at least. So Rumanda it's like where you can bail out somebody. Like for example, in a police station, you can bail uh, bail them out. Uh, mm -hmm. and also even if they go to like normal normal police, like um, because in Kenya after um, Masa Sabini na Mawiri, so after 72 hours, which is equivalent of three days. So let's say 48 hours, you are arraigned in the prison, like uh, to the judge, and you are then you are then after 47, uh, 32, uh, no, no, after 72 hours, 
you are taken to the normal prison, but not like in the normal prison cells with the convicts now. You have like a special like side, which we call it like remand until your case is uh, finished. And still from there, you can still bail out somebody and you find that uh, either PESA, like the PESA that you use to bail somebody, you can still use it. Let's say you are caught, like uh, you are told, okay, you have been fined to make people fine. Yeah, health food like Saracenia, Kenya. So I've been fined like um, 250 US dollars at the end of uh, your prison cell. And uh, let's say you, you are bailed out with like, um, let's say 150 US. So you find that uh, that money, the receipts can be taken, then you pay on top like 10. So they combine that and it's enough for you. Like the money does not completely go. So it's yeah, interesting system. But yeah. So we call it Rumande in Swahili. So Nasema Mutu you call Rumande, which means that they did a crime, but they have not been convicted yet. Then we can say Gereza. So in Uganda, so Kure Uganda, what when you may English or Rumande. So they're in demand. Yes, so they are waiting to be arranged to the judge. Maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. <laughs> yes, maybe on claims of uh, kusumbua, amani, yeah, wana inchi, on, you know, changes of uh, disturbing, public disturbance. You never know. Yes, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Interesting, Rakini. Yeah. But uh, see what peke yake. Yes, yeah, so neither same um, Mandamano, Ya Kenya, Ya Meibua Isia, Zavijana Wengi, Uri Mwanguni, Kwa Sababu Ata Wiki Riopita, Ijuma, Vijana wa Bangladesh, Wariweza Kuandamano, Kamu Najua Bangladesh. Yes, so Wari Andamana Pia, Wari Sema Umefraia, Kazi Ambayo, <laughs> Vijana wa Kenya Umefanya. Pia vijana wa Nigeria wanataka kuandamana vijana wa Zambia pia wana wameshaanza kufanya mipango ya maandamano alafu vijana wa Uganda wakasema tutandamana leo so kwa sababu pia vijana yes. wa Kenya wanaingia yes so okay. mm -hmm. oh. yes okay. mm -hmm. yes so yeah, so Mandamano. So at Up Africa, I'm very sure like um the same refu, Utapata Kama, Unona Kama Vide Arab Spring. So Arab Spring in Ifanika. So uh Kutoka Misri. So from Egypt, uh Mwaka wa Fumbiri Nakumi, twenty ten, uh by when Mussolini was in the power, Arafu Katamba, Ikenda Libya, Ikenda Tunisia, Ikenda Morocco, Ikenda Mali, Ikenda Kira Mali. Uh, inches are uh, Africa. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, Kaskazini. So, here at the end, the ya Kenya and Nazar, the part of Metamba. Inches and bases are Nashida. So, the part of Metamba, Kira Maria, to Tanzania, we know. What is the man Nazar taka kuwa na mani? Malawi, wako kwa nyempango. Uh, Zambia, wako kwa nyempango. Ghana, wako kwa nyempango. Nigeria, washa anza. So, it's like a whole thing. By itself, so yes, mm -hmm. mm. yes, so yes, so anyways, um, yes, so are you saying that just like Arab Spring, that these mandamano are spreading in southern just like Arab Spring, that these mandamano are spreading in southern in, in sub Saharan Africa? Is that, is that what you're saying? Yeah, actually, not a sub Sahara, it's actually somewhat of like um, the whole of Africa in one way or another. Uh, mm -hmm. They are inspiring even like people in different parts. And uh, you find that uh, the Ugandans, they took like a bold move and uh, they decided to like protest, right? So th it's not the first time the Ugandans are protesting, but most of the time you find they don't have inspiration. Yeah. So if you know like Bobby Wine, he is a very famous uh, musician slash uh, member of parliament in Uganda. He has protested many times. We also we have Bessie J who is like, um, you know, the writer of Uganda. <laughs> so he is always uh, organizing protests. And uh, in Nigeria, also it's a country that they're always protesting. So you find that uh, they have been inspired. So they are saying that they are going to like, uh, because 
when they look at uh, the things that we are complaining about, like accountability, bad governance, corruption, and those kind of things, you find all these countries, they have this thing in common. So you find even Bangladesh, they were like, wait a minute, I think that is something that we can do. And by the time they are looking at the news, the way they are being reported, uh, one owner who are like, the Kenyan government has scrubbed like different money wasting like uh, projects and uh, departments of the government, the ministers, they went away, like they were sent home. So they were like, oh, which means the protest is giving us a little bit of results. So even when we go to the streets and pressure the government, I think it can happen. So that's why you find that they they are trying to do that also then. So, so it so... might spread to more countries. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Raiz Wako um Ruto Ana Sikiliza. Askirizi. Sidani and Askiriza. Yes, either missing kum chagua, nidi chagua baba. But um neither same um mwenyewe, sidani and askiriza. Kwasabu like I, I was saying like to Kianzia, so like when we were starting, nidi sma vigiana wengi, walikuwa na sema ata is a wizara. Wizara means like um, the ministries themselves. Wizara. So let me write for you in the in the so wizara. And also then we have the ministries. I don't know how you call them in the US. So like the departments of uh, whatever. So ministries. Ministries. Uh, so in, in his, um, yes, like the cabinet. So like the cabinet. So with but wizara means like the department itself. Like when we say the state department or we say like the department of fisheries and agriculture like those ones so i think they use you might call them departments mm -hmm. then uh, you find that uh, we call them wizara in swahili then we have the waziri waziri it's the cabinet secretary themselves so i don't um, know how you call them uh, alifuta alifuta baraza yes. la mawaziri yes the cabinet secretaries yes so he, what he, he, he dismissed them, didn't he? Yes, he dismissed them. So because he is the president, so Wakati Ambapo Anachaguriwa, so just as any other president, even Biden, you find that uh, Akichaguriwa, he comes up with his own bunch of, uh, you know, waziris, executive, right? Mm -hmm. So which means the president has the power to fire and hire them, right? Mm -hmm. Then for the legislature, that is like um, the Congress like this. So you find they are e elected by the people themselves, right? So the same way, so earlier. So also we feel like the legislature, like betrayed us. But for now, we have had feelings with them, but we don't have, let's say it's not a hundred percent, like the way we are pissed off with the executive themselves. So the legislature, it upon her for now. So they'll be spared for now. But 2027, <laughs> we are with them in the ballot, right? So for them, we told them, mm -hmm, let's start just deal with one problem after the other. So to Nanzia when you executive, Mawaziri, Nawatuao, then when you so the, the registration, we come to you later. So that's how we are dealing with the problem. Because you find that um Chida nyingi zimeanzia from the executive. So unapata um, kama vijana, like I said, we suggested that we have, like, for example, the Department of Health. We don't need a politician because most of the politicians, they don't have the qualification. We need, like, when it goes to find the person, get, um, let's say, a professional from that industry, maybe at the end of the, the national hospital, uh, the national of something, but in the ministry of uh, like somewhere in L, uh, get that person, he knows shit about shit. He knows management and like this. Put them in the department of uh, in the government. Ah, yeah. If we go to like um Wizara uh, Kirimo, the agriculture, put somebody out of there who is somewhere already managing a parastat or something, and they are not they know they are not like a politician. So if it's like ministry of tourism get a director of a certain company. They are already like bringing tourists in Kenya uh, like this and doing other things, bring them to this department. So you find that um, we say like, because you are bringing like a business person or a person who is already working in those like um, department and they are not politicians, of course they'll get 
political eventually, but you find that these people, they know shit about shit. But if you have a politician who has been there since 1990s, they don't know how shit, they know how to play politics, you know? So this mm-hmm. person, at the end of the day, they will just rob you, but they won't do like the work they were supposed to do. So like that is like the main complaint of the people. So, mm-hmm. but um, you find that uh, people are still pissed off because this guy, the people that he selected, he selected his fellow politicians, not the professionals that we told him to go into. So, yeah. so Unasema, Kwajiri, Nta Lamu, is that right? Professional, Nta mm-hmm. Lamu? Yes, Wataram. Wataram, because they are many. Wataram, yes. Mm-hmm. In, the, in, the, in, the, in the chat, I already put for you the name. Wataram. <laughs> professional. Okay. Yes. Then profession it's taruma. <laughs> I'll put for you also the word just because it came. The profession itself it's taruma. Yes. Hmm. Good words. <laughs> yes. And the so- professionals what are and taruma, the profession itself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, Amo, yeah. uh, Mualimu, yeah. Taluma. <laughs> yeah. Talum. You are a professional teacher, right? Taluma. <laughs> oh Taluma. my God, I wish. Mualimu, Taluma. I, I, I don't, I, I, would, I would say that Mimi ni mtaram wa kujitengeza. I myself made like a professional. But uh, sick when um, when you shure, so either shure come at you. So I did not go to, like to the university to study warimu. Okay, so I did not study like to be a teacher. I studied to be another thing. But nimefanya tawa kongamano like different conferences zawarimu. Does that make sense? Different conferences or for teaching so like this. So uh-huh. yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yes. So, do we have any other question? So, Ningependa Kwana Kama. So, Uli Uli Somanini na um Cho Cho. No, that's bathroom. Chu. What did you say? Sure. <laughs> Not in the yes. bathroom in the university. Chow <laughs> is like the washroom itself. <laughs> okay. Please that is a very interesting problem. <laughs> <laughs> that is a new one. Trust me. I've never had a person like um get it's, like uh in <laughs> chow and chow, but anyways, it's a new one. Uh They're but very yeah. Close. <laughs> yeah, very cross. Mitate. You know Mitate? Mitate? Mitate. So, you know, like when we say akuna matata? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So then we have the word mitate. Just think about mitate. So, matata. Tata, it's a problem. So, mitate means like what with the problematic words, which like they might sound almost the same. Anonyms, actually. So, is it? Yes, anonyms. So they may sound almost the same, but not the same. They are pronounced differently. They mean different things, but almost same pronunciation. Only yeah. one syllable or two syllables that, yes. So, vitata in Swahili, anonyms, yes. So, maneno yenye utata. So, utata means like problem, problem, uh, problem, problem, uh, problematic. Problem, yes, problematic. So, yes, utata, yes, from the word matata. <laughs> matata means like a lot of problems. Although Matata is also a musical group in Kenya. Oh, they sing very Mat- good songs. And Matatu yes. is a bus, so that's also very close. Yes. Ma- yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but by the way, you know funny funny things? Do you know why Matatu was called Matatu? No, why? Because like um okay, do you know sense? Like uh, this small sense, like um sense on a daughter, right? 
So back in the day, before the inflation and everything, so after independence, the Kenyans needed to move from point A to point B, and the government introduced this robust system, okay? So robust system of um, transportation, right? And this robust system used to pay like a, a 30 cents, so mapeni. So mapeni means mapeni. Mapeni means like cents, okay? So mapeni. So like this in the chat. Mapeni. Yes, mapeni. Matatu. So if somebody asks like the minimum distance, normally somebody like, actually the maximum distance, like maximum pay was three cents. So which means you, if you are going like to the farthest side of like the town, you would pay just three cents. If you are coming like uh, to a crosser area, you might pay one or two. So, but most of the changes were just three cents. So if you ask somebody, where are you going? Then they tell you, I'm going like this. Then you ask Shinginga or how much? Then somebody will tell you, Matatu. So eventually the name was adopted. Of course, it is the prices with the inflation they got from three cents, but they go to 30, 20, one shilling, 30 shillings. Yes, so we are like 20, 30 shillings now. 500 so, shillings. But <laughs> the name, yes, the name stuck. So Matatu. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. So it's a very interesting, yes, origin of the word. Yes. Mm -hmm. Although, like, uh, if you go to, like, um, Tanzania or like this, so we have the word Dara, okay? Dara, Dara, okay? So, Dara, Dara. Why do we have the word Dara, Dara for Matatu? So, the word Dara, okay? So, it's a very interesting word. So, Dara means, like, um, in Swahili, so it means like uh, caressing something. So when you are caressing something or you are grabbing something, right? But because the matatu in Kenya, you know, if you have used like the public system, you find the matatu just not ex exactly stopping, it's still somewhat moving, but you just grab on the handle and you get in and it still continues moving. So, which means now, like um, as the matatu is coming to almost stop and you are getting in, the conductor or the person in charge of the fair would tell you grab on dara you know grab on so uh, now eventually it's like became dara dara so in tanzania so okay. <laughs> yes <laughs> yes mm -hmm. so interesting analogy but still so I need. yes uh, <laughs> yes so dara dara means like grab on grab on yes so make sure that um Yes, and also most of them back in the day, a lot of people used to stand, you know, like um, they would carry to like, even now I think, like uh, especially out there in the city, we have like 14 passengers, but if you go to Eldoret, in the outskirts of Eldoret, you find that mm -hmm. they have like 20, 30 people and they're like, ah, very, yes, but now like the, and the person in charge, like the conductor would tell you, you know, Dada, hold on. You know, otherwise you tip over or something. Yes. Yeah, so right, right. Now eventually you're like, ah, yere magari akudara, dara dara. So yes, yes, and we have our yes, the public transport. So, yes, very interesting origin of the words. <laughs> A fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's like um, even when you get like uh, this kind of word like dara. Dara means like, um, for example, in my side of the town now, so in Mombasa, Dara means like five bob. Mm -hmm. So yes, five shillings in my city. Yeah, five shillings. Yes, five shillings is Dara. And the reason why it's called Dara, five shillings, if you have seen the Kenyan five shillings, it used to be like, uh, before the small one, we used to have a very big five shilling which means like, it, like compared to the 10 shillings, which was very small, five shillings was very easy to grab on, right? So, and also a lot of things were costing five shillings back then. So it was very easy to just get it. The other one was very slippery, like the 10 shillings, like the normal 10 shillings that you know, it was very slippery compared to the five, which was very big. So now it was very easy to just grab five shillings. So you find that a lot of people, they eventually say, ah, Dara, so like one dara, but the format with dara and dara, yes. Mm -hmm. 
even yeah, now so. it's so hard mm -hmm. to buy something for five shillings even even a small vegetable ah, I, ten ball yeah of <laughs> course yes yes in in like uh, my side of the town five shillings can get you a small donuts yes ah. then or a matchbox yes so but uh, or those kind of small sweets for the kids or uh, a bubble gum maybe two pieces of bubble gum <laughs> yes so nowadays with the inflation and everything so yeah yeah and inflation gets you eventually because like when i was uh, in school in high school i remember with um, five shillings i could get half piece of a normal bread 400 grams bread i would get like half with five shillings and my mom would give me 10 shillings which means with uh five shillings uh like i would get a piece of bread then with the other five shillings i would get a carton of milk let me say of course almost 60 70 kenyan shillings or, you know, like, yeah. now it's about then spread it costs almost 70 60 with the current prices so yeah <laughs> um, so. in in the coast over mm -hmm. there near mombasa they also have those what they what in other parts are called tuk tucks but they don't have them in Eldred, mm -hmm. but what are they called in Mombasa? Those those little... Uh, open... So in, in Mombasa, we call them tuk-tuk. Okay, it is tuk-tuk. Okay. Yes, yes. The reason why we call them tuk-tuk, it's because of the sound they make, you know, like they have two pistons and uh, it's like... So tuk-tuk. <laughs> yes, those two pistons. So it makes that kind of sound. But if you go to Tanzania now, so we have this company from like um, India. So because they were originally from India and um, Thailand. So you find the company that was making them was actually an Indian company. And this company is called Bajaj. Okay. So eventually before all the other players came. So Bajaj was like the biggest company shareholder in like um, the Tanzanian coast. So you find that uh, even in Kenyan Post, most of uh, the tuk-tuks before, like those companies like TVS, Yamaha, all that they came. So Bajaj was like this. So you might hear some people referring to tuk-tuks as Bajaj, although in Tanzania, most of the people just say, just get a Bajaj, so like this, so yes. Then uh -huh. if you go to like some other areas with a lot of Indians, you might hear people saying like, get a rickshaw, yes. Although that is more Indian. Tuk-tuk, mm -hmm. um, tuk -tuk, tuk tuk is like, uh, let me show you. Tuk Tuk is like, uh, you have seen those uh, vehicles in India, in Thailand movies or India, and they have like, uh, it's like a vehicle, but it's not a motorcycle, it has three wheels. So it's called a Tuk Tuk. Let me just get you an image of that, I'll show you. So, yeah, they are very two. common in like uh, Kenyan post. Yes, me very me common two. in Kenyan post. Yes, so those are like tuk tuks. Yes. And yeah. then, so uh, speaking of transportation, yeah. the Studebaker in mm -hmm. uh, South Africa, the Studebaker. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know, Ted. How do you call tuk tuks out there in like uh, your country? I know that um, because of the Indian influence, you might have tuk tuks out there. Not in a so I think you can see these ones. Swatini. In, in South Africa, I think Cape Town have. Uh, yes, uh, so I'm this is like, a, for example, this design. That's the, yes. Studi that's the Studebaker in South Africa. In a Swatini, Akuna yes, Studebaker, yes. Akuna, uh, uh, Akuna Mashbomba, yeah. Akuna Matatu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, not in ah. Swatini. Yeah. But, but, in, but in a certain, the good thing that you have the big buses, but it's a way of managing the to the transport system. Because the good thing is that Swatini is not very big, but also you have a very good robust system. Mm -hmm. in, in a Swatini, they have the big buses, so or yeah. like they are moving people from one place to another. And yeah. uh, they are very organized somewhat. I would say like yeah. my impression of when I was in yeah. Swatin, they are very organized. I'll yeah, say in East Africa, they are always chaotic. <laughs> they are run by, uh, by association. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 
And also, yeah. I would say like uh, also countries like uh, Rwanda. Rwanda, I think the bus system is, uh, especially in Kigali, it's uh, very organized. It's almost the same organized system as the Swatini. But in in like um, because the government has a say in this like transport system how they are being implemented. But you find in Kenya they gave the rules and everything. But you find that uh, because the country is somewhat very big. So it's just different towns and different cities. They have their own sub rules. And you find that uh, eh, sometimes, you know, they just say uh, at least have X amount of like this and this. So, yeah. And you find that uh, if you're in a major city, they are literally better organized. But if you go out of like the city, you go to town in rural areas, chaotic. The, you find something that is supposed to carry 12 people, it's carrying 20. <laughs> something that is supposed to carry 18 people, it's carrying 35 or 40. <laughs> and <laughs> all sorts of everything. But anyways, I digress. My country, my pen or something, mm -hmm. when it comes to that. Yeah. And, <laughs> and um, una, una sema, mm -hmm. je, um, motorcycle. Uh, uh, so uh, you okay. So, so motorcycle it depends with um where you are because there's but this one is like um yeah mm -hmm. so like uh okay so you can say like um in Swahili Piwa Swahili if you can say picky picky okay so picky picky so picky picky comes from the word you know like pick 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 okay picky picky like picking people so pick pick so like the word pick okay like picking people then for border border the reason why it's called border so it's like uh for boarding like when you board so oh. yes border border like the word boarding yes in like um like when you board a bus yeah so board okay so, border, border. yeah very interesting origin so it's technically english but not english but in is so yeah border border yeah so we're saying like board just board like yes board 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 quickly Border, okay. border. So when you see like um, a double like this, it means it's like a stress. So even when you say picky picky, like most of the words in Bantu languages, even in South Africa or Southern Africa, most of the words that I came to realize, whenever you see a word as like a double, like this in most of the areas, even in Indonesia and in Thailand, like this, it's like a stress, meaning like do start something in a quicker manner, you know? Or in, like, for example, even pole pole. It's like when somebody tells you pole pole, it means more slow, more slow than, yes. Yeah, so in, like, of course, like, it's a stressing, like, for that one. It's very interesting. Yeah. Yes, it's a linguistic fun fact for me, to you. <laughs> yes, yes, in any language. Yeah. Yeah, so picky picky and border border. So you these are like um very common words that you mm -hmm. might hear. But also you find that um another word that you might hear people use, they can also use like um a word like boxer. Although boxer it's more of a brand name of a type of a motorcycle, and uh it's like associated with uh, the picky pickies or the border border for carrying passengers. So you might hear somebody say just go to like um the stage and get a boxer so boxer means like um a type of motorcycle it's very common so when you look at those border borders you might see like some of them pasted like the way we have ondas the yamahas the tvs's but boxer they have a very big share in kenya almost 60 percent of or everything or 50 percent maybe it's boxer motorcycles so they were like the first in kenya to come yeah mm -hmm. yes so yeah so very interesting it is um whew, what a lesson anyways so i'll say that um we i'll get at the end of this i have to actually get um to cook my dinner i'm somewhat hungry and uh, then go to other programs so <laughs> ntasema santeni sana so kamatuna swari dingine kusu anything else so I can finish this up. So Darwin, Liz, Jed, do we have any question, any comments, anything? In as well as Santisana Darasa Leo, La Leo.
Okay, Kwaerini. So, yeah. So, Jed, Natumaya, Muna Swadi, any comments? Please, any comment, any Swadi? Asante. Okay, so Asante ni sana pia. So, I'll say, Kwen na wakati muema. Okay, so have a great time. And, uh, Tutana na Ramisi. I'll see you on Thursday. So, I'll see you. Pardon? Yes, so bado tungari 